So right here you can see um, we've got a signal lock on two UAS, two different UAS. I can zoom all the way in. So there's our location here. And then this is the icon of the two different UAS that are flying locally. So, and then if I actually select the UAS, it gives me a zoomed out uh, image of the continental United States. And then I can actually get the serial number and the telemetry data. And as Vic and Paul uh, begin to fly, uh, hopefully we'll get more telemetry data as they uh, continue to use the UAS. So as you can see on the Crystal Sky display screen, um, I've got two active UAS flying uh, within um, our scannable area. And if I select one of these um, icons, as you can see here, it will give me uh, live flight data. Um, and I can actually click this little screen, a uh, little dot here, and um, it'll actually give me the full flight track information. And if I wanted to get more information uh, about the aircraft's uh, location, uh, specifically the GPS coordinates, telemetry data, speed, altitude, and of course the home location of the pilot, not an actual physical home, but the home that the drone would return to, um, I can actually click on that and I can scroll through these different menus. So here I have the aircraft type, a serial number, it's telemetry data, and if I go back here to this menu and I actually hold down this little icon in the bottom corner, I can see, okay, here's the Mavic that's flying near me. And I can also see there's also an Inspire 2. And they're flip-flopping based on their telemetry data and which one's closer. But if I select one here, I can actually get the serial number and the email account that was used in the DJI uh, flight app. So if we needed to absolutely get in touch with the pilot at a later time, um, you know, to help coordinate, we could definitely do that.